Hi traders, Mike from MS100 here with you and tonight I just want to talk a little bit about how to trade MACD and stochastic divergences. So first I want to get into how to trade the MACD divergence. Okay, first let me go over what the MACD is. The MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence and it was a technical indicator that was created in the late 1960s that shows the difference between the fast and the slow exponential moving average closing prices. There's two component, actually there's three components to the MACD. First is the MACD signal line, which I have here in the blue, as you can see down here. And the signal line is formed by smoothing with the further EMA. So my signal line right here is actually calculated by the price of the 12 EMA minus the price of the 16 EMA and this is the blue line here. Now I also have on it over here I have the, the, the MACD signal of the 9 EMA which is calculated right here. Now the difference between the MACD and the signal line is often calculated but it's not shown on the chart here but it is shown in this block histogram beneath. So the difference, the spread between the red line here and the blue line is shown here on the histogram. Now to be able to trade the MACD divergence you need to have a divergence with the price action. Now as we're looking at this chart of the S&P right here you notice we do have a lower high here and a higher high here that do show an uptrend. Now when looking down here at the MACD you see two areas. You see the MACD signal lines and you see the MACD histogram. Well we have a lower high here but we have a higher high on the MACD histogram. Yet on the chart we have a higher high here and a lower high on the MACD. Sorry not the histogram, the MACD signal lines. Now this is showing a divergence in the price that the, the exponential moving averages are getting closer and closer together yet the price action is showing that we did make a higher high. Now this right here and, and this down here the, on the MACD histogram both are showing divergences with the price. Now as, the, as we go further out in time you should be able to see how the, the MACD histogram and the MACD signal lines actually are leading the price as a divergence indicator. Now, yet, yet we're looking at this chart right here, and we did see we made a higher high. Since the MACD did not make a higher high, the chances are that the price will lower in the, the security, whatever you're trading, whether it's a stock or a future, because of the divergence on the trade here, because we're also losing some strength. So, as I do pull this chart up, watch what happens. We're going farther out. Yep, oh, we make a lower high there. And now we start to sell off on the chart. So this divergence trade right here shows pretty pretty good that or pretty well that this is actually a trade to be taken as a divergence trade. Notice we did we would take this divergence trade once these signal lines did cross again and start moving to the downside as we can see here in the histogram because price is moving down as the divergence is moving down. So it actually gives you a little step up in the markets to show you that there could be a possible turnaround coming even though the price did make a higher high. Now let me pull up the stochastics to show you how on the same exact chart here that you actually can see the divergence on the trade. Now here's the same exact chart of the S&P with the stochastics shown here and as you see we, we made the lower high here and the higher high here yet we made a higher high and then a lower high in the stochastics. Now this in, now these indicators, although they are lagging indicators, both the MACD and the stochastics, do work as divergence trade indicators. Now typically I would like to take a setup like this as a short once these lines start crossing and move below 80 in this chart. And the reason why I would want to do that is because the chances are that the stock or whatever you're trading is going to go down because of the divergence in the trade. Now let's look at what happened in the future. And as you see, we did have some price action down to the downside. Well, that's it for tonight. Come check us out at ms100.com. I'm Trader Mike. Take it easy.